Good morning all. I'm playing with uh, a little OLED display. Uh, it's a 128 by 64 pixel OLED display and I'm using the UHG uh, monochrome graphics library to uh, drive this. It's very simple to use but you can get some strange effects. This um, is actually the Hello World example with Hello World removed and Millie's which is the uh, Arduino's millisecond counter uh, read and then written to the display and as you can see it's all broken up. Let's reset it again because it tends to break up the uh, rapidly changing digits. It's broken up into what appear to be stripes. So why is this happening? So here's my code. Um, it's the hello world example but it is modified um, it's very, very simple. It contains the include UHG library statement, uh, the constructor call to create the object UHG. Now I'm doing the one which uses uh, I squared C because it's an I squared C uh, OLED display. And then in loop, there's nothing in setup, but in loop, I'm doing this stuff. So just a, a simple picture loop. Um, within the do statement here, it sets uh, the font to something really nice and big. The OSB35 is a large font. It then sets uh, a position on the screen with this set print pos. So uh, 0, 63, uh, 0 is x, so that's right over on the left hand side. 63 is the very bottom line because it's a 64 pixel high display. And then I'm printing millis. Now millis is a function which will go and get uh, the value of uh, the current milliseconds count and return it and then it gets printed to the display. But it doesn't get printed to the display once because I think what's happening here is within this do statement this central section gets ex executed eight times. And it gets executed eight times because on the display there are actually eight rows of bytes. So a byte is written to the display to produce a vertical row, vertical row of eight pixels. Now you can see that these stripes are actually eight pixel high stripes. Let me get in a bit closer. So that's about the best that I can get it. But you can just about make out that each of these blocks is eight pixels high. Now there are eight sets of eight pixels within the 64 pixels of the height of the display. So what appears to be happening is that the millis function is actually being called eight times while this entire screen full of information is being built up and every time it's being called the millis number is actually different and you can see that this isn't just a scrambled mess focus is off a bit there it's just different digits in each of these stripes so here in the code, this do loop is being executed eight times, and so the millis function is being called eight times, and we get eight different numbers. So how can we solve this? Well, the answer is to move the millis call outside of the do loop. So what I've done now is I've put an integer m uh, assigned to the value of millis, or at least it calls the millis function, the value of millis then gets put into m, but only once because it's outside of this do loop. And then within the do loop, I just print the value of m. Now I know that m being an integer won't take the full value of millis, but it'll take enough to, uh, to go up to 32,768. So let's see what the result of that is. And the result is this. It's uh, not all broken up into stripes. The value of millis is only obtained once and then within the picture loop, which does eight separate um, rendering of eight lines on the screen, the value is unchanged through that entire process. So we don't get that corrupted, broken up font. Now, as I say, I'm putting millis into an integer. So, of course, it only goes up to 32,768 and then wraps around and becomes negative. Uh, millis is actually a long, I believe. Uh, yeah, here's the millis function on the Arduino website, and it's actually an unsigned long. So yeah, that's fixed the problem of uh, the what looked like corrupted data on the screen, 
but what was actually different digits being rendered for uh, each set of eight pixels, uh, eight pixel groups on uh, along the height of the screen. So now I'm getting this instead of this. Cheerio.